sonic nozzles. So these are another kind of uh, obstruction flow devices. So what is this uh, uh, sonic nozzle? So sonic nozzle has an obstruction. So what is that obstruction? So this is this obstruction. And this is called mm, uh, it, it's a it, it's a nozzle. So so nozzle has a converging and a diverging section. So this is this is the converging section and uh, this is the diverging section. So this is also called a uh, critical flow venturi. Okay. So let us see how this sonic nozzle uh, is used to measure flow rate. So let us uh, assume that we have a conduit. So this is the upstream and uh, this is the downstream. So uh, we want to measure the flow rate through this conduit. In order to do that, uh, we insert a sonic nozzle or critical flow venturi into the piping section. And uh, this is the principle behind uh, the sonic nozzle. So if, if P1 is the pressure upstream of the venturi and if P2 is the pressure downstream of the venturi, all we have to remember for now is if the pressure ratio P1 over P2, if it is greater than 1.4, then we have what is called the m equal to 1 condition at the throat. So what is the throat? The throat is the area where we have the minimum cross section. So we have what is called the m equal to 1 condition. That m equal to 1 condition is called the sonic condition or it is called the choked condition. And uh, what is the significance of that choked condition? it represents uh, the condition of maximum mass flow rate what do we mean by that what we mean by that is no matter what happens downstream so even if the pressure p2 changes downstream as long as we keep uh, p1 constant okay uh, and as long as we maintain this pressure ratio p1 over p2 greater than 1.4 we can be rest assured that the flow conditions downstream will not affect the mass flow rate so that means as long as we keep p1 constant no matter what happens downstream the flow rate is only dependent on the pressure of p1 and uh, that is the beauty of uh, this sonic nozzle and uh, how can we measure the mass flow rate through such a uh, such a device uh, it is again based on the principles of uh, uh, continuity and uh, momentum combined with Bernoulli's equation so if we if we uh, do that uh, we can uh, derive the maximum mass flow rate or the mass flow rate at uh, the choked condition so that maximum mass flow rate for a given p1 is given by this expression here okay so so as long as we keep p1 constant again no matter what happens downstream the flow rate uh, through this system can be measured or calculated using this expression so here rho 1 is the density uh, of the uh, flow rate upstream uh, in the upstream section a is the cross-sectional area t is the temperature upstream k is the specific heat ratio uh, mm, so if we know all these parameters we can calculate what the maximum mass flow rate is going to be through this piping section so this is what is called a sonic nozzle the name sonic nozzle uh, basically arises from the fact that uh, if we meet this condition of p1 over p2 greater than 1.4 then we have m equal to one condition or the sonic condition at the throat so let's look at a mm, example so we have uh, a flow nozzle that is used uh, that is to be used as a choked condition uh, at choked condition to regulate the flow of nitrogen uh, n2 at uh, 1.3 kg per second through a six centimeter id pipe so here 
we have nitrogen flowing through a pipe and we want to keep uh, the flow of nitrogen constant at this level so let's say this is some design condition that we don't want to violate okay so how do we do that how do we uh, regulate the flow of nitrogen so again this is another um, uh, phenomenal effect of a sonic nozzle we can regulate the flow we cannot only measure the flow we can also regulate the flow okay so we want to regulate the flow at 1.3 kg per second through a six centimeter uh, id pipe okay and the pipe is pressurized at 690 uh, kilopascals absolute and the temperature upstream is 20 degrees Celsius so the question is what should be the maximum beta ratio so beta ratio is uh, uh, the beta ratio is D uh, beta is equal to D naught over uh, D1 D naught is the diameter at the orifice or or in this case it would it would be the throw to diameter and uh, d1 is the diameter upstream so if we rewrite uh, the equation that we saw before so if, if we take this equation and rewrite it in, in this fashion okay so we have uh, 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 the uh, the area so that area is nothing but this area here so we are we are taking this to the left hand side and uh, bringing the all the other parameters to the right hand side so we can rewrite that in this fashion so we know the mass flow rate that uh, uh, that we need we need to regulate the flow of nitrogen at 1.3 kg per second so we know what that mass flow rate is and we know what the density is um, because we know uh, the uh, the uh, temperature and uh, we know the uh, pressure so we can calculate what the density is this uh, r is the uh, specific gas constant k is the specific heat uh, ratio uh, for nitrogen so so the, all these parameters we can obtain now uh, using uh, uh, any standard appendix so now a here is uh, this a here is uh, pi d naught square over four so if we put in our row t so t t we know it is uh, 20 degrees celsius um, and so all these parameters we know so if we substitute all these parameters we get a max or the maximum area at the throat so this is the throat area so that would that is the ma that is the area that would result in the maximum um, uh, 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 or, or the choked uh, uh, condition so the, this uh, max is a little misleading it represents that uh, the uh, it reaches a sonic condition at the throat so the area of uh, the, the area when we reach the sonic condition uh, at the throat is given uh, is calculated to be 8.12 times 10 to the power minus 4 uh, meter square so this is nothing but pi d square over 4 so we can calculate what the throat diameter is the throat diameter is 3.22 centimeters so, so knowing what the throat diameter is we can calculate what the beta ratio is so the beta ratio is given by d naught or d1 so the beta ratio is 0 0.536 so you know, what does that mean that means we need to maintain this diameter ratio to maintain the specific uh, or the specified mass flow rate so in other words we have uh, uh, we have the piping section here and we put in uh, we put in the sonic nozzle put in the sonic nozzle okay so the diameter of this throat here so this d naught over this d1 so that d naught over d1 should be less than 0.536 for us to maintain a mass flow rate a constant mass flow rate of 1.3 kg per second okay, so this is uh, uh, this is another way of using sonic nozzles to regulate flow in, in, uh, in addition to measuring flow.